I took you to task in the front of a group. It was, it was one of the, uh, what's the name of that conference? A Beyond Belief conference. Oh, yes. Which gathered, oh, yes, that's which right. gathered scientists, yeah, yeah. biologists, theologians, yes. philosophers. Yes. And it was to discuss, are we in an era beyond where belief matters? Yes. Does belief still matter? Yes. So it was quite the juxtaposition yeah. of points of view. You and I are up, up on front in a panel. Two other people are there. And I heard you speak. I'd only ever read what you wrote. And I heard you speak. It was more articulate and more barbed than <laughs> anything I'd ever read that you had written. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm glad we're on the same side because, <laughs> because if you had spoke to me, I'd feel like a complete idiot. I would feel not worthy of life. And then I thought, you are so potent. Is this turning people off because they reject it? Because you are not investing in how they think. Everybody has little receptors for receiving information. And if you're just gonna say, I'm right, and I know I'm right, and you're all just wrong and you're idiots, maybe that's not as effective as you can be. So I challenged you to be a little more sensitive to people who are just trying to explore the world and that you could be more effective than you are. Do you remember your reply to me? I said, I gratefully accept the rebuke.